Okay, hello, how's everyone doing? My name is Wilfred. I am the owner of Spaceman Domains. We are a web design and digital marketing agency. This video is dedicated to Victoria in Australia, one of my acquaintances from the Hello Wolfy Facebook group. She suggested that I help people best by doing a YouTube video. And I'm going to take that advice because I always enjoy uh, constructive advice. So here we go. I'm going to show you today uh, Hollow Wolfie. Uh, actually, it's going to be a brief overview. This is for new Hollow Wolfie users. And I'm going to show you uh, two ways to create content. And in my humble opinion, the best first step you should take in Hollow Wolfie. So, I enjoy Hello Wolfie. I'll just say this. Uh, I enjoy it so much. I purchased a lifetime agency uh, subscription. And Hello Wolfie has done amazing things for me in my business. And I learn everything. I learn new things every day about it. So if you feel free to ask me any questions, I've been using it about a little bit more than I think probably, let's see, five months. So if you uh, have any questions about it, let me know. And just a disclaimer, uh, while I will evangelize for Hollow Wolfie, I am in no way uh, being provided support or sponsorship or promotion, you know, by Hollow Wolfie. This is solely uh, for me as a user to share my knowledge with new users and anyone who has difficulty uh, utilizing the platform. So here we go. Before I start, I want to make one thing abundantly clear. If you are ever using Hollow Wolfie and you need any type of help or any type of understanding, these paw prints here will do just that. They're all over, and when you click on them, a video is going to come up and give you an explanation of that area. So like this paw print will give you an explanation of ad content. So when you get started with Hollow Wolfie, obviously you have your menu bar you have your home discover library calendar store journal and frequently asked questions now this is my take on hollow wolfie right there's two ways that it works it can create content for you which i'm going to show you you can also be creative and create your own content and it helps you with that and while doing that you can schedule automated posting of the content to various accounts. But more importantly, what it does is it keeps track of how often content is posted, right? So, when I, and at the end of the video, I'll discuss my humbled opinion about why you should make content, regardless of whether it is relevant to your marketing of your product or service or that of others. So the first thing you're going to pay attention to is you're going to see right here where you have this total post and you have scheduled post and you have draft post saved. These numbers are very important. I almost never have a drafted post, but these two numbers are very important because it shows you how much content you have in your campaign or how much content, how many single posts you created. Now, why is that important? Well, Hollow Wolfie for me, the way that I utilize it, it eats up a lot of content. And I'll do another video about posting and everything, how often, how frequently, but it eats up a lot of content. So I say that what you should do is create 30 to 31 pieces of content to get you through at least one post every day for the entire month. That's my, that's what I say. That's what I advise, right? And so before you do anything else, I'm going to show you two ways to make content. The one quick way and then a creative way. So the quick way to make content is you go to the discover right here and you're going to click on that. And when you click on discover, it is going to bring you up a, just a lot of articles, a lot of articles. Now, 
if you want more information, you can obviously click on here. I'm not going to go into uh, filtering it, but you can filter it. You can add to it. I already filtered out what I don't want. So I have my art, my business, and my technology news. This is the news that I like to have when I post. And we're just going to make a piece of content in Discover. So we're going to pick on right here. We're going to pick on this article, right, about Jeff coming back from space. And we're going to go, we're going to go click here, add it to library. And that's it. As we like to say, Wonderbog is done, right? And you choose a category, and I already made a category. I call it, uh, I don't know if I can see it. I call it, uh, where is it at? I don't know if I can see the category. How to Wolfie. <laughs> How to Wolfie. Well, yeah, I can't get to it from here because it's blocking me, but you get the idea. There it goes. How to Wolfie. And then we go add to library. Well, oh, almost forgot. You got the hashtags too. You got hashtags right here. So you can add your hashtags and you can add your emoji cons. And there we go. And we go add to library. And that's it. We're done. You only got to do that either 30 or 31 more times. <laughs> okay. Now, the next, now we're going to go back to the home screen. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create content the second way, which is more creative, right? So we're going to go to add content. And here you would type in your copy. And once again, there goes the Wolfie pour, right? To help you out. You're going to type in your copy or put in your URL, and it's going to fill a copy for you. You got your hashtags. You can create. I'll talk about that later, but you got your hashtags. You add your emojis. You choose your category, and then you choose from here. You can add a link. You can add. You can create a graphic. These are your photos, your gifts, et cetera, et cetera. Or you can add photos and upload photos, and it goes right here. And then, you know, like I said, you can save the draft or you can add it to the library. And that's the two ways to create content. And I recommend that you do those first. You create your content at least 30 days, at least a month of content, right? For the month that you're going to be posting. And so now also you have your library. And your library is where all your content is going to appear and we'll talk more about that later but this is where all your content is going to appear as you see i have plenty of content in here already right? and this is where all your content is going to appear in the library and you can also create content in the library as well and you know we'll talk more about that later it's an enormous this would be an enormous video talking about the library so i'm not going to do that today i just wanted to show you guys the two quick ways that i create content and what I recommend is your first step if you're new to Hollow Wolfie or you've been using Hollow Wolfie for a little while. The first step you should do is create a significant amount of content. And maybe the next video I'm going to discuss frequency of posting so that you know exactly what your objectives are for making content. But that's it, you know, and that's why Hollow Wolfie is great because you can just go into Discover and it's just clicking away. But, haha! <laughs> I'm going to show you also the part two to this video. I'm going to show you a real clever thing that they have for adding a lot of content at one time. Ooh, I love doing that. That's fun. And we'll do that as well. That'll be the part two of this video. That's actually the third way. But I just wanted to focus on a small part right now for you guys, right? So in my humble opinion, this is what I say, right? Um, I think I read somewhere it says... Uh, you want people to engage in your content when you post. You just don't want to be posting just to be posting. I mean, you actually want to consecutively post on your social media, but you really want engagement, right? You want likes, comments, retweets, whatever platform you're on. And people are more likely to engage with content that they like, that they enjoy, not content that is, you know, of no interest to them. So, uh, but... My opinion is, yeah, you just really want to be posting, 
a lot. I'm doing a stay posting all the time, consecutively. So that's all I got to say today. And we will uh, continue this another time. And thank you for your time. And I'll have some more information for you down in the links. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Have a good day. You ready, Joe?